on behalf of the President of the United States, the United States Air Force, and a grateful nation, please accept this flag as a symbol of this nation's appreciation of your loved one's honorable and faithful service. Thank you. How do I put it in words? We just buried the most amazing man that I've known and the world has lost truly a great hero and we can't imagine a more fitting place for him to be laid to rest than here at Arlington National Cemetery. Marty Hawkins. As the latest group of Honor Flight Nevada veterans start their journey to our nation's capital, they're escorting the remains of two of their comrades. And this has been a long time in the making. So, Steffi always wanted to go on an honor flight, so now's her chance. Air Force Tech Sergeant Stephanie McLaughlin and Air Force Veteran Chief Master Sergeant Bob Wheeler both passed away last September. Have a good trip. Each hoped to make an honor flight Nevada trip. And though they aren't walking alongside these veterans, Honor Flight Nevada founder John Yespa is still fulfilling his friend's wishes. Yeah. We promised. Sure they'll invite me again. Oh, yeah. We you you promise. Okay. Along with seeing the sites and memorials built in their honor, these vets are attending Wheeler's funeral at Arlington and Honor Flight Nevada first. And taking off with the group, the entire Wheeler family, via the Southwest Airlines Nevada One Battleborne plane. Upon arriving in Baltimore, you guys ready? The family is first off the plane, leading the vets to DC. Being here with the family and bringing Bob to his final resting place, it's, it's pretty overwhelming and just amazing to be a part of this honor flight. But perhaps less overwhelming than the hundreds of strangers inside Baltimore, Washington International paying their respects to the family. I didn't anticipate it would be that surreal. I think everybody got it. It doesn't happen too often, or I've never seen it on an honor flight this way. Then the moment of silence turns into a standing ovation for Nevada's veterans. Lenny, rock, purple heart coming through. <laughs> this is totally beyond me. I couldn't, couldn't ever explain how this feels to me. Just amazing. Here comes an honor flight. The group heads to the bus and straight to dinner at the American Legion, post 60 in Maryland, where Chief Master Sergeant Bob Wheeler sits front and center. The sun is almost shining and hopefully it will be tomorrow as we, uh, we put Bob to rest, which is going to be quite an honor with uh, the company that he's going to be amongst. not only a loving husband, but he was a great father to Mary's three daughters. And Bob's legacy lives on here at Arlington. On behalf of the President of the United States, the United States Air Force, and a grateful nation, please accept this flag as a symbol of this nation's appreciation of your loved one's honorable and faithful service. Chief Master Sergeant Bob Wheeler is laid to rest with full military honors at Arlington National Cemetery on Thursday, May 19th, in front of his family, friends, and fellow Nevada veterans. What Bob got was the top, and our response was, well, of course, that's how it should be. <laughs> our, our hero, always and forever. Perfect. Uh, Bob was honored. The, the veterans were here. They enjoyed it. You know, they, we all got to pay respects. Um, this is uh, very unusual with the band. Um, um, 
an enlisted officer or enlisted would not normally get this. This is a, a general's funeral. Once the ceremony ends, it's on to the tomb of the unknown soldier, where a surprise awaits the veterans. All these Vietnam veterans, you hear them whisper that we didn't get any of this when we came home, and they forget, they think this generation forgot about them. High five some kids. All right, high five. Let's go. Give it up, guys. It was a greeting I, I never got when I first got home. And, to see the young kids like that uh, honoring people that serve their country is a wonderful thing. And as they watch the changing of the guard, these vets know the most emotional part of their trip is still ahead. The wall's going to break them down. Um, you'll talk to some of the Vietnam vets that have been here before that maybe have never even touched the wall. They couldn't do it, they couldn't feel comfortable, but they'll tell you with 40 or 50 in a group, they're okay to just let it happen and, and do some healing. Here we go, you ready? kind of concerned about it because about 20 years ago they had the mobile wall the smaller version that they take around the country and it was in Carson City and when I approached that wall I could get no closer than 50 feet so we'll see how this one goes it is my privilege to welcome you to your memorial Waiting at the wall is Vietnam Veterans Memorial Fund President Jim Knotts. What we truly believe is that the wall has helped to heal a generation and even our nation, uh, knowing how divisive Vietnam was. Um, but the thing I think that evokes such strong emotion when people come to the wall is that they recognize this is not about the war, this is about the people. This is me, this is him. Um, we got ambushed, got caught in an ambush and I was carrying the radio, and uh, he was keeping the Viet Cong off of me so I could call in air support. But they got him just just after I made the, the call to, air, to get in air support, they, they killed him and shot the radio off my back. Me and this guy right here, Philip Feltz, are the only two that made it out. I should be up there. Sorry, Jimmy. I'll be up there pretty soon. We're taking Bob Wheeler to see Bobby Lee Wheeler on the wall. And unfortunately today we buried the other Bob Wheeler. So it's the three wheelers, all Vietnam related. He uh, walked out of mine. But when you get connected, for me it was by name. I just wanted to see what uh, other uh, wheelers especially with the same name, had lost their lives fighting for the country in Vietnam. That's why I'm doing this. Even though it's kind of overwhelming, I was able to gradually get through it. So I'm happy. It made the whole trip worthwhile. I want to welcome all the uh, veterans and their families on board today. The latest honor flight Nevada group is heading home. Some wounds are healed and a soul is at rest and there's still one surprise left for the group. They never got a homecoming, so now it's going to be different today. There's a couple of people that want to say hello to you. Thank you. What you guys do well, um, brings a lot of healing and, then, uh, and have a quilt quilt takes care of a lot of pain. It's a long time coming. Fantastic, awesome, totally different than before. Hey, man. Now we have this. I can't thank you guys enough for everything.